We got Mr. Jason Thrasher. He was responsible for a lot of things and a lot of people, and they're all right here. On September 28th, Jason Thrasher will have spent half his life in Athens, Georgia. Jason Thrasher has zero musical skills. Jason Thrasher's camera skills are all he has. That and skateboarding. Jason Thrasher once did a 360 ollie kickflip followed by a blunt side grind into a Bertelman slide that led into a roast beef grab culminating in a Texas two-step at the top of the lip. And on the way down, he capped it off with a flamingo, two cavemen, and a pretty convincing pogo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, stop taking those pictures and get up here. Jason Thrasher. Much more comfortable. Um, first, <laughs> Don's the best. First of all, thank you, Don Chambers. Thank you. Thank you for the MC, the master of ceremonies. Um, I, I'm gonna. I'm just the most unprepared person you're going to see on stage today. Um, I started to make it louder. Okay. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming. This, I'm stunned and I'm really having an outer body experience. And uh, that was totally true what he said about the skateboarding trick. Uh, so, well, first I want to thank uh, the Georgia Theater and Rick Potts and Drew and Elliot and Eddie upstairs for making this happen. And for Colin, seriously, the best sound man ever. He, anybody else would have killed me earlier today, but Colin is amazing. And Courtney on the lights. You guys rock. Thank you. Um, and everybody at the Georgia Theater, thank you so much for letting this happen. And then all the musicians that are playing tonight. Like, I don't want to get into any names. But look, there's Mike Mantione. Uh, project your voice. I will project. I will project. <clears throat> First of all, beyond all of those folks, I want to thank Beth Thrasher, my wife. She's the brains. About six years ago, she said, why don't you do a thing where you get each person to ask the next person? And I, it, that made this happen. And uh, it took a lot of time and a lot of like just waiting and a, a lot of faith. And uh, so here we are like six years later and I photographed 33 people for this project. Uh, I wish I had photographed like 300, uh, but what Beth came up with was an idea for me to travel through the music scene of people who I knew and people who I didn't know, and it turned out to be this amazing journey. Do you want to hear the list? Yeah. Alright, this is, this is the closest I come to poetry. Alright, so we photographed Laura Carter from Elf Power first. And Laura chose Will Hart from Olivia Trimmer Control. Will chose Julian Coster from Music Tapes and Neutral Milk Hotel. Julian chose Vernon Thornsberry. Oh, uh, Vernon. I said earlier, if anything has come from this project, it's Vernon has a new band. <laughs> Vernon Thornsberry and the Magnificent Six or Seven. Uh, Vernon chose Jill Carnes. Who doesn't love Jill? And I can't believe I'll do this in public, but meow. <laughs> Love you, Jill. And after I photographed Jill, that's when I knew, wow, this is a way to do this. I'm, once I had Vernon and Jill and those other folks, it was like, yes, this is something. Uh, Jill then chose Patterson Hood, who flew in today to play this show. How cool is that? Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm like blown away. 
And then uh, Patterson chose Don Chambers. Uh, Don then chose Art Rosenbaum, who he and Margo, absolutely amazing. And I didn't know them at the time, and now they're old friends. I've been working on this thing so long. Art and Margo chose Earl Murphy, a 94-year-old fiddle player who passed away the morning of our photo shoot, and I never had the chance to meet, which is crazy. And luckily his daughter let me come through and photograph his belongings a, a month or two later. And then he, we knew that he was going to pick Charlie and Nancy Hartness, who started us off tonight. Charlie and Nancy chose Beverly Smith, an old-time music player who, you know Beverly. I didn't know Beverly at the time. Beverly was the second time I waited a while. Beverly tours the world playing old-time music, and I think I waited like nine months for her to be in Athens. And she was fantastic. Then she picked these three young guys, the Darnells. Yeah. And I was so happy to have a rapper in the book. Austin, if you haven't seen his rap act, is almost as good as the Darnell brothers. The Darnell boys. Um, they chose Daniel Ray, who is on stage with us right now. Daniel chose Dave Marr, who called in sick a few minutes ago. Dave had a tree fall on his house three weeks ago. He's not living at home right now, and his family's safe, but I told him when he said to do it, I was like, hey man, if you're not, don't worry about it. So, we'll think about Dave Marr. Dave Marr picked Thayer Serrano. She's recording a new record right now, which is good for all of us. Thayer shows Pistol, Matt Stosel, who is on tour with Cracker in Italy, so he's doing all right, maybe Spain. Pistol chose Jim Wilson. There he is. Jim chose, Jim chose Care Beth Satellino, who no longer lives here, but I love her latest record, Outer Spaces. Uh, Kara chose Jason Griffin. Where's Jason? Oh, he's playing soccer, but he'll be here in a little while. Everybody buy him a drink when he gets here. Uh, Jason chose Andrew Rieger. Andrew might be here. And um, Andrew chose Michael Stipe. Which was chosen the day his band called it a day, which was really cool. So Michael chose Andy Lamaster. And oh, and then this is where it got good. Andy chose Ross Shapiro. And I could have stopped right there. I could have said that's it. I got Ross. There's a longer story about Ross, but you should buy the book and you'll learn the longer story. Ross was chosen maybe five or six times for this project, and the working title was Ross Said No for a long time. Maybe five years later, Ross called me and said, I need some photos of the glands because we're going to play the grand opening of the Georgia Theater. Yeah. And I said, guess what, man? You just got picked again. Yeah. Thank you. So, love Ross. Oh, Ross said, I'll do it if I can pick Frank McDonald. Oh, yeah. Yes. Frank chose Preston Spears from Harvey Milk. That was, I was, that was the first time I was scared to do the photo. <laughs> Super nice guy. Preston chose Kevin Sweeney. Sweeney. Sweeney will be here later. Sweeney chose Kelly Newman. Yeah. And I hope she's here. Kelly chose Kathy Curbo, who's out saving the world. She might be here tonight, but if you haven't looked at Reef Ball, She's doing the best work of anybody to save the planet. Kathy chose John Neff. Who <laughs> he will be right there. John will be back. John chose Andrea DeMarcus from Cicada Rhythm. We'll get her for the next show. Andrea chose Hardy. Hardy Morris. And for, 
five years while I was working on this book, everybody said, well, has Mike Mantione been picked? He was next. <laughs> and then before I even photographed Mike, I called and said, you're the second to last person for this project. I have to know who you're going to choose. And he said, Vanessa. So Vanessa Briscoe Hay is 33. I know who she's going to pick for the sequel to the book, but I'm going to wait a little while. He's here. Um, but that's the story of the book. I think I thank the musicians. I love all, you, all of you people. Thank you all for coming out. Thanks for everybody that's helped. Oh, yeah, right. Deeds Publishing. A year ago, I got a phone call from David Engel who said, are you interested in doing a book? And I was like, yeah. So I've partnered up with Deeds Publishing. They're at the table, at the merch table. They've been fantastic to work with. Bob and Jan, and their son, Mark Babcock, Matt King, Ashley Scott, and um, I don't think I'm forgetting anybody there. It's good. Uh, but they're back there pre-selling the book. They've done a fantastic job on the design. They made, the, they made this project and the book way better than I had pictured it. Like they had to kind of beat me down a little bit and then I realized, oh, you guys are smart and this is... So you can pre-buy the book tonight, say hello to those guys and thank them. And if I forgot somebody, I'm gonna give everybody a hug later. But thank you all very much.